space. UFO. Here we are, Scotty. Scotty reporting. Why Scotty reporting? Reporting on UFOs. For real, man. For real. Check this uh, sh shit out, man. Check this shit out, man. It's spooky, man. Fucking you, man. Fucking UFOs and shit. Landing and shit. Check this out. So, Navy pilots describe stunning UFO sightings. You heard? Hypersonic, hypersonic speeds. No exhaust fumes. <laughs> We're being invaded, right? So, um, this is a real story, a true story. I'm not making it up. Right? It's in Zero Hedge. After upgrading the radar system on an F 18 fighter jet, several Navy pilots operating from the aircraft Theodore Roosevelt began to see unidentified flying objects that appeared to defy the laws of physics. Between 2014 and 2015, the strange objects, one of them spinning like a top, as it traveled against the wind, appeared almost daily in the sky above the east coast. The crafts had no visible engines or in infrared exhaust fumes and could reach 30,000 30, feet in hypersonic speeds. Ah, I'm not making this shit up, man. So, <laughs> UFOs. so here's one of the pilots. Here's the difference, all right? To be clear, these, um, these crafts were reported in 2018, March, about a year ago, a year and a half ago. Uh, it's not a new report, but the, the what's new is that the pilots, I guess this guy is one of them, Lieutenant Ryan Graves, are speaking about it, right? So they're, they're reporting what they saw. That's what's, that's what's different about the story. So let's see what they said. Uh, <clears throat> these pilots, uh, these things would be out there all day, said Lieutenant Ryan Graves, an F-18 Super Hornet pilot who had been in the Navy for decades. Grave re Graves reported it, his sighting to the Pentagon and Congress. There's a nice video, too. Check, you can love this video. Uh, um, right, so uh, keeping an aircraft in the air requires a significant amount of energy. With the speeds we observed, 12 hours in the air is 11 hours longer than we expected. So... Something is working on on a um, on an alternative energy, right? It's not. It's not certainly not the shit they're using. In in late 2014, a Super Hornet pilot had a near collision with one of the objects, and an and an official mishap report was filed. Uh, some of the incidences were videotaped, including one taken by a plane's camera in early 2015 that shows an object zooming over the ocean waves as pilots question. What are they watching? Wow, what is that, man? Dude, one explained, look at it fly. <laughs> so here it is. Yeah, so let's see. Um, let's see if we can get a big good shot of this. This is good. Man. You're going to like this shit. I was looking, watching UFOs and shit. Let's just get it right. Get it right before I mess it up. <laughs> yeah. Dude, this is a fucking drone, bro. There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. Gosh. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. Oh, I think, dude. Dude. That's not an LNS, though, is it? It's not. That is an LNS, dude. Well, if there's like another thing, it's rotating. Nickel 6 one thing. 
pretty whack right fucking no shit right so there were a number of different reports right so it's two guys right they're, they're pilots they're like what is it right they get a lock on it right and uh they don't know what it is right it looks like a top spinning seems like the, it was holding the same speed as the plane right? so here's what they said about it. uh there are a number of different reports said uh navy spokesman john joseph uh gradishire who said that while some of the cases could have been commercial drones in other cases, we don't uh, know who's doing this. We don't have enough data to track this. So the intent of the message to the fleet is to provide update guidance on reporting procedures. All right. The sightings were reported uh, to the recently acknowledged Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, <laughs> AATIP, which analyzes the radar data, uh, video footage, and accounts from senior officers aboard the Roosevelt at the time. According to military intelligence who ran the program until 2017, the sightings are, quote, a striking series of incidences. Hmm. What is it? Somebody testing something or is it a UFO? Is it aliens? Is it aliens are coming, is it coming to get us? The program, which began in 2007 and was largely funded at the request of Harry Reid, the Democrat. <laughs> Do you remember that guy? The fucking nut job, who was the senior majority leader um, at the time, was officially shut down in 2012 when the money dried up, according to the Pentagon. But the Navy recently said it currently investigated military reports of UFOs, and Mr. Elzondo uh, and others participate participants uh, say the program part of it remain rem part of it remain classified, has continued in other forms. So. Maybe it is some kind of secret, you know, secret something or other, or maybe it's aliens, right? The program uh, has also studied video that shows a whitish oval object described as a giant tic-tac about the size of a commercial plane, according to two Navy jet jet uh, guys. Uh, so, so, I mean, these are, these are... These are Navy guys, right? They're Navy pilots. You, you don't think they're part of, they're privy to the secret? If if the Navy or some kind of secret service shit is running running shit right underneath them, they're not going to be informed about it, right? You're going to risk the an F F-18, whatever plane, f colliding with the, colliding with the, uh, with this UFO, this unidentified flying object, right? No, you wouldn't do that, right? You would... <laughs> You would protect your troops. You would protect the, the, the pilots and, and not, you know, and not be flying, you know, bullshit fucking drones right underneath them while they're flying. So Lieutenant Grave is still at a loss to describe what he saw in the summer of 2014 when he and Lieutenant Dan Eckhoin, uh, another super Hornet pilot, were part of the, quote, Red Snipers uh, operating out of Oceana, Oceana Virginia. They are trained for redeployment, uh, training for redeployment to the Persian Gulf. Uh, so, Graves and a coin spoke on the record to the Times, the New York Times, while three other pilots spoke on conditions of anonymity. <laughs> Cowards. It all began following an upgrade from the 1980s era radars. Uh, so, I don't know what this is. Uh, so, it's a targeting, folding. One fighter pilot after another began picking up the objects, initially ignoring what they thought were false radar tracks. People have uh, seen strange stuff in the military uh, aircraft for decades, said Graves. Uh, we're doing this very complex mission to go from 30,000 feet. We're doing this very complex mission to go from 30,000 feet diving down. It would be a pretty big deal to have something up there. I don't know what that means. Graves added that the objects were an ongoing phenomenon, showing up to 30,000 feet, 20,000 feet, and even at sea level. The craft could accelerate, slow down, and then hit hypersonic speeds, according to the report. Uh, the lieutenant said that he had encounters, two encounters with the objects, the first of which he tried to intercept the aircraft's course by flying 1,000 feet below it. And while he couldn't see it, 
with his helmet camera, his radar told him it was there. In the second encounter, a- Acorn, Acorn, yeah, Acorn, says a training missile on his jet locked onto the craft, which, which his infrared camera picked up as well. Wow. I knew it, I knew I had it. I knew it was uh, not a false hit, he said, adding, I could not pick it up visually. The pilots chalked it up as some sort of classified and extremely advanced drone program. Then they began to see them with their own eyes. I don't know what to think so far. I can just keep reading. Right? That's interesting stuff, right? In 2014, Graves said he was back at the base in Virginia when he, when he encountered a squadron mate just back from a mission, quote, with a look of shock on his face. He said he was stunned to hear the pilot's words. I almost hit one of those things, the pilot told Lieutenant Graves. The pilot and his wingman were flying in tandem about 100 feet apart from the Atlantic east of uh, Virginia Beach when something flew between them, right past the cockpit. It looked to the pilot, he, uh, it looked to the pilot, Lieutenant Graves said, like a sphere encasing a cube. Ooh, they got a real look at it. After the near misses, Grave and others uh, interviewed pilots said, other interviewed pilots said, squadron were no longer convinced of the classified drone theory. Mm. As government officials would now uh, would know fighter pilots were operating in the area, they reason, would not operate them nearby. That's what I just said. Uh, you're not going to fly, you know, dangerous drones underneath your, your, your pilots. It's not going to happen, right? It turned from, and if it, was, if it was some other country doing it, we would know about it. They would be on to it like, like you know, flies on shit. Right? Oh, no, no, that's, uh, that's uh, Russia. <laughs> Russia running, running reconnaissance underneath our fighter jets. You think they'd get away with that? No. It turned out from a potential classified drone program to a safety issue. It turned from a, whatever. Uh, it was going to be a matter of time before someone had a mid-air collision. So these guys are nervous, man. They're nervous they were going to get whacked out of the sky. What was strange, the pilot said, was that the video showed objects accelerating to hypersonic speed, making sudden stops and uh, instantaneous turns, something beyond the physical limits of a human crew. Uh, Speed doesn't kill you, Lieutenant Graves said. Stopping does, or acceleration. Asked uh, what they thought the objects were, the pilots refused to speculate. Quote, we have helicopters that can hover, Graves said. We have aircraft that can fly 30,000 feet and right at the surface. But, quote, combining all those in one vehicle of some type with no jet engine or exhaust fume. (laughs) I don't know. In March 2015, Roosevelt departed the coast of Florida for the Persian Gulf to help fight the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria, with which uh, the incidents taped after which the, the incidents is tapered off. Hmm. So, I don't know. What do you think, man? What do you think? Is it UFOs, right? There's some pilots, right? They're running reconnaissance. They're running some, some kind of shit is flying underneath, the, underneath the, the, uh, the Navy pilots, right? And they're locking us. Oh, shit. Fuck it. What is that shit, man? Fucking UFO. God damn. I'm fucking shooting. Fucking pussy. Fucking... They're even fucking shit in his pants, right? He's shit, the pilots are shitting in their pants for a UFO. Now, is, in seriousness, is it possible that there's unidentified flying objects in our atmosphere? Is it possible that it's an alien, you know, form of life sending drones into our planet to observe us? Yeah, why not, right? Would we look? We sent a um, excuse me, we we sent a a. Uh, uh, then we seen send a four wheeler to Mars. Now, what happens if there's some kind of life form saying, "What the fuck is that, man, dude? Did you see that shit? Right? It's a bunch of fucking Martians, like saying, "What the fuck, man, dude? What is that shit? Man, it's a fucking. It's like a it look like a skateboard going by, man. You saw that shit with the camera, man. It's fucking smiling, and shit. Right? So, is it possible that a higher form of life is sending technology to check us out? Take our picture, to 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 observe us before they before they send their life form, their their species to our planet, maybe to eat us, maybe to take our planet, maybe to look at they, they look at us like food, right? 
just to send a little scope? Is it possible? I don't know. I mean, it, it, if it isn't possible, then it, it debunks how many years of people saying that they see unidentified flying objects everywhere, especially in the desert, especially if they eat some peyote, especially after they smoke some skunk. Ah, I seen it. Did you see it, man? Oh, I saw it. There, there it is, man. I saw it. It's a fucking UFO, man. I don't know, man. It's Marcus Scott reporting on the UFO spotting. The Navy spots some UFOs. Peace.